everyone. No, I'm not going metal detecting today. Today, I've gone to a hardware store to buy a door. Um, so, while I was in Korea, my neighbor got a hold of me and, <clears throat> well, we ended up replacing the conjoined fence between the two of us. And that involved also new gates and all kinds of stuff. So my plans for a new computer and you know things so I can actually edit how the door is gone. Because that pretty much is uh sucked up all those funds. Uh, you gotta love life. So um today, well since we were looking at this brand new fence and everything, the side door to my garage it's very weather worn. And it appears that one of the animals that have gotten into my yard has tried to eat through the door, I guess. I don't know. So, I'm going to Lowe's to buy a door. Um, the door that's on there is some cheap wood door that it's exposed to weather all the time. It's Exposed to temp extreme temperature changes, stuff like that. And I, I just don't want to deal with it. Yeah, I could buy just a door panel, same type. <clears throat> Probably about 60 to 80 bucks. But for 136 or 148 after tax, I could just get a whole brand new door and frame and rip the thing out and put a new door and frame in. How hard could it be? Yeah, I actually said it. How hard could it be? Um, so that's what my plans are today. Going to change out that door. Um, why not? It's 8.40 in the morning. I still want to, later on, I have to go by the store. I'm going to make some uh, yummy, yummy enchiladas for dinner. Uh, black bean and uh, black bean rice and beef. Day, it's even better, but uh, that's for dinner tonight. I'm just gonna work through lunch, but but I am gonna go stop off and get myself a nice cool drink to start the day at my favorite little coffee shop. The cats sleeping in the road, I don't know why they do that. Another cat sleeping. Oh, that's a little dog sleeping on the road. Wonder if it rained cats and dogs last night. Oh, so the funny thing's gonna be <clears throat> the door measures 33 and a half. Um, this is the installed opening, so when you have it in the frame and everything, it's 33 and a half by 81 and three quarters. <sighs> Other inches, imperial measurement. Uh, but yeah, I don't do metric. Neither does U.S. home construction. Uh, so yeah, those are the measurements. I have a Fiat. Yep, we're gonna throw that thing on the roof and take it home. So if you want to see something really funny, that's mainly the reason why I'm doing this because I'm gonna channel my inner jet clamp it and between uh, a few cargo straps and a blanket I think we can get it the mile and a half from the store to my house down residential roads of all things so yeah so yeah this is the part of the and stuff see and stuff so just to warn most people who came here looking to see if I was swinging the equinox or the day is today no I'm putting in a door and get a bus with its little flapper door open. Oh, there's gas cap doors open. Whatever. But yeah, let's do this. Oh, also, uh, to the people who have already requested stickers, um, everybody but one person 
your stickers are in the mail. Penguin Chick, I sent you a message. I need an address. Everybody else, I had your addresses. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully, I hope <laughs> I hope you like them. I'll be ordering some bigger ones later. Uh, this is kind of like a test batch. I mean, I should have ordered bigger ones in the test batch, but I didn't think they would be so small. I thought they'd be about, you know, about this big. But go. Yeah. That's okay though. I think uh, I think I like them. They're cute. Right. Rolling forward. See what I did? It's pretty good for not being able to open one window and all this kind of stuff. Not bad. Pretty solid. The one downside is strap placement. It's right where my head's at. <laughs> nah, this will work. I couldn't find a cargo blanket, so I got a uh, six by nine painter's heart. Keep the roof from getting snackered up. Yeah. Drive the mile and a half home. We'll do this and uh, yeah, that'll be my uh, project for today. A little home improvement. Surprisingly, the steel door is really light. I got it flipped over so it's the door frame contacting the roof. I don't want to mar the panel up. It's already dirty anyways, but... Uh, since I'll be reusing my old lock set and deadbolt, um, I'll just have to drill those, or drill the deadbolt later, but I got a lock set I can stick on here, it'll be fine. Yep, next step is get this home and uh, yeah. rip a door out. <laughs> Quite honestly, I've never done this before, so this should be fun. Um, but in the same token, it shouldn't be hard at all. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. But you pull the nails or screws out for the old door, knock the frame out, slide new frame in after taking all the little plastic bump guards and stuff off, and transfer hardware. And it's just getting everything squared up and uh, level. That's the important part. That straps <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> door ain't going nowhere. It's on there good. Bye. I always 
make sure that when I buy stuff for things like this, it's something that I'll use over and over again. Um, and if it's not something, like if it's a specialty thing, I try to see if it's something that I can make work. If it's something I would use more commonly in another application. Uh, like, it said on there it needs nails for the door, you know, to hang it. I prefer screws. Uh, I just find them a lot easier. It's just beep, 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 and you're done. Um, yeah, so it's caulking. This is an exterior door. Uh, I'm not worried about the outside too much. And I'm going to spray a, a, a pest barrier foam from the inside to the outside through the gap to, you know, insulate and whatnot. So, yeah. So, I think we have everything covered. By the tightness of this strap, I'm pretty sure I still have a uh, door on there. <laughs> no, I thought you got it.